Hey there friends, Gina Scalpone here. I know a lot of you know me. I'm gonna explain why my hair looks really crazy right now. Um, I've been a hairstylist for 25 years and I'm a marketing strategist. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool um, ponytail that I, I got inspired by Gwen Stefani. She was in the Super Bowl commercial and um, actually, I got inspired by her nails, so I just got my nails on this color. She looks so good. She had really blonde hair, and the back of her hair was dark brown. So I got inspired by the color mixing, and I thought, hmm, I could do a how-to video on this. So I hope you guys are excited. I know you guys obviously are stylists, or even just some people here watching are makeup artists and in the beauty world, and you might know how to do this video or this um, ponytail, but if you don't know, hopefully I can inspire you to try it on yourself or to show up online to promote your awesome knowledge, your ex expertise, your experience uh, with your followers online. So first I'm gonna start off. So here's my real hair. It's all just pretty much air dried. I put a little bit of um, texturizing spray in it and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. So I have it in this high ponytail. This is where I want the ponytail to be. It's gonna be one of those dramatic ponytails that are really full and they kind of have like the gathering in between all the way down. So I show how to do hair tutorials online because I sell custom clip and extensions. So for example, here's, these are really old. This is when my hair was blonde years ago, but I still had them and I thought I could just use my old extensions. And I washed my 18 inch clip and extensions last night and my 22 inch clip and extensions that I sell but these are actually mine. I'm usually buying them and washing them and preparing them for my clients. So, okay. So first what you're gonna do is, you're gonna leave a little section out in the front and I'll explain why later. I just gathered my hair in a ponytail. So I'm gonna tip my head upside down. I'm gonna take this blonde clip and extensions and wrap them all the way around the, this line here. I'm gonna do the blonde first, then I'm gonna do the, the dark hair. So I'm gonna tip my head over. You know, normally you'd clip them in like this, but because I'm, clipping them in upwards, I'm gonna tip my head over. I'll show you what I'm, what I'm doing. So here's the back of the extensions. So you're gonna put it like this. I'm just going on feeling now. Normally if I was doing this in front of a mirror, I'd be able to see a little bit easier. But I wanna know, who's one of your style icons? Uh, is Gwen Stefani your, one of your style icons too? I love her. I always get so inspired by her. Every time I see something she's wearing or is doing or um, with her hair or makeup, I always get so inspired. And I love her music too. Okay, so here's the perimeter line here. So I'm going to take the clip-ins. Here's the back of it. Put it back here. I'm just going to clip them like right along the perimeter. Do you guys do hair tutorial videos? Tell me in the comments below. What kind of videos do you do to show your expertise off to your clients that are ideally following you on social media or online? Tell me who your style icon is. One, tell me in the comments below. Two, tell me what kind of hair uh, videos you guys do. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. It looks kind of crazy. Um, I've done this ponytail before, but never with the blonde. So I did practice right before I came live to make sure I knew where I wanted to place there. So I'm just gonna wrap all the rest of the hair around. Um, I'm just putting four tracks of the blonde and two tracks of the dark. Okay, so I'm gonna flip my head upside down again. It's snug up against the other track. Do you guys wear clip-in extensions? I'm curious. I love to have a little drama in my hair. If you guys know me, you see, you see I show up here all the time, but I love wigs and clip-in extensions, and um, I, don't know, I got really inspired by Gwen Stefani. So this is a little extra, but why not? It's a Saturday night. Okay, I'm gonna clip the last one on the top here. Now it's all in, it's all secure. Looks kind of crazy, I promise it's gonna look good. Now I'm gonna take my dark clip-in extensions and I'm gonna wrap them around the blonde. Because when I gather it all up in the ponytail, I want it to be even the dark to the light. And my real hair, as you can see, is shorter. So these are, I believe these are 18 inch extensions. I've had them for so long. And these are 22 inch. And I wear them and I sell them. That's why I do how-to videos 
um, online a lot, like how to do top knots and things like that. And I talk about the products I sell and the um, hair I sell. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this another set around. And the clip-it extensions I sell come with eight to 10 wefts. So I know you guys aren't trying to buy clip-it extensions, but I feel like uh, explain what you're doing to the people that you're doing it to, uh, showing it to. And then also I use a little dry shampoo. I love Big Sexy. Does anybody else love Big Sexy dry shampoo? And then I will use this Kenra Platinum number 26 spray. Um, and then I also will be teasing my hair. I'll explain all this with my Glam Hairs Wonder Comb. I sell all these products. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip this in the front. Again, you would normally clip the hair in like this, but because I'm gonna gather it all in a ponytail, you wanna have it flat on the head. So I'll put this here. Just kind of clip them in. Hopefully you guys are learning something new too. I mean, I always like to watch other videos on what other stylists are doing. Sometimes I see makeup artists doing really cool things with their hair too. I'm always on YouTube and online trying to see what I can learn. So I'm just gonna make sure that I can cover up all of the, the, the clip-ins with the front of my hair. So just take a peek there before you carry on because if it's not gonna be covered up, then you need to move some things around. But even like that would be kind of cool if it was like pinned up like that, but I don't know, I'm going for a dramatic look tonight. Okay, I'm gonna do one more track on the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully this makes sense. Okay. Looks kind of crazy, right? Ideally, I'd like it if the blonde was a little bit longer, but it'll be okay. And I did wash these and air dry these last night. Um, I just comb, wash them in the kitchen sink. I wash them in the kitchen sink a bunch of times because they were so dirty and so old. Um, I've had the blonde ones for years and the dark ones I've had for um, uh, three or four years. So <laughs> they're old ex extensions. So now, okay, I'm gonna leave this section of my hair out. But I want to just encourage you guys, like maybe you know how to do this hairstyle already, maybe you don't, but I want to encourage you guys to show up online, show what you know about doing hair. So you can, um, your clients look at you as the expert, so one, and two, you could talk about all the amazing products and things that you sell. Like maybe you don't sell clip and extensions like I do, but um, you sell like hairspray and, you know, dry shampoo and things like that. Okay, I'm going to leave this section out. I'm just going to like twist it and try to put it out of the way with the bobby pin and I always say like try to be uh, aware of when you're inspired so like it might be a conversation with a client it might be something you see online it might be like another stylist doing some cool style you're like oh I could do that okay now this is I'm gonna gather all of this hair you could tip your head upside down or right side up I'm gonna gather it right around where the other ponytail where the original ponytail is Kind of crazy. Do you guys ever do fun ponies like this? So just gather it all the way around. If I hit a mirror, I would just make sure like everything was covered up. And you could actually, this could just be a flat flat. I don't really like having my hair flat at all. I think it's because I'm Italian <laughs> or maybe because of my age. I just like big hair. Okay, so make sure you cover everything up here. I might have to cover some of this a little bit better once I get done filming this and I can see in a mirror, but I can't really see what I'm doing back there. Okay, here we go, here we go, got it all. I think it's flat, how's it look back there guys? Can you see any of the blonde? <laughs> okay, so it's a real high pony. I like doing this kind of pony when, um, when it's like hot out and I'm gonna go like to a festival and my fine hair kind of falls a lot. Or if it's like snowing out, like tonight it's snowing like crazy and we're going out for dinner and I just want my hair to stay good all night. So sometimes I'll put a wig on or sometimes I'll just let it get snowed on or rained on. But I thought today would be a fun day to do a hair tutorial video. And like I said, I got inspired by Gwen Stefani. So I want you guys to be aware of when you're inspired and then I want you to write it down. Like if you have a conversation with a client, oh my God, this is so much hair. I think that's tight enough. If you guys have a conversation with one of your clients, um, what I want you to get in the habit of is write it down in your notes section, like on your phone or in your, your planner or wherever you keep notes. 
that's pretty good um about a video that you would want to create like maybe your clients like three clients that day ask you about how do i blow dry my bangs i have these weird colics in my hair or how do I tease the top of my hair? Or how do I do beachy waves or whatnot? Just make notes, just be aware when your clients are asking you things and then you just create videos on it. I've been creating how-to videos for years and I literally barely ever make up, get creative on my own. I just think like, oh, what did my client ask me about this week? Or I go to my notes section on my phone and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I had two people asking about how to do a high ponytail. And sometimes I'll do, um, because we're stylists it like I feel like we like things a little bit more dramatic sometimes so sometimes I'll do like a ponytail and I'll explain how to do a pony like this well you could just leave the extension part out or you don't have to have the blonde pieces in there so sometimes I do a video that can pertain to my clients and also makes it kind of fun for me too okay so now with this part of your hair you could actually just swoop it I didn't do anything this is literally just my hair pretty much air dried so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and tease it and give it a little bit of kick I'll do that in just a minute I'll do that probably at the end and I guess it's probably best to have all dark rubber bands but I ran out so I had to use a white one <laughs> you can actually just take a part of the back of your hair the dark part and just wrap around it if you want I might be able to cover it with this so we'll see the white doesn't look so bad because I have white in my outfit okay so that's that got all that I'm gonna tuck this in a little bit better later on when I have a mirror and I can see it but I want you guys to see what I'm doing Okay, now I'm going to take my Glam Hair Wonder Comb. I've already combed out my real hair with this comb. I've combed out the extensions with it. Just combing it all out again. Um, and like I said, the extensions were just air dried, so they have a little bit of wave to them, but it's a, it'll look okay. At this point, you could braid it if you wanted. You could probably just leave it, make it look kind of crazy. You could have had it flat ironed. You could have a soft curl in it. Whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to tease my, my ponytail a little bit because I want it to be really full. That's what I love about this comb. It's wide tooth. So it just creates a little bit of lift. I'm going to use a little spray too. You know, us hairstyles, we like to use a lot of spray. I love this Kenra Platinum uh, 26. It's my favorite. Do you guys use this? Just spray it. I mean, you could leave it like that. It's kind of like 80s. It's kind of fun, right? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather it every so many inches. So it kind of has that like gathered look. Just makes it so edgy, kind of 80s-ish or 90s-ish maybe. <laughs> And I'm going to separate this to get a little bit of fullness. But let me get the rubber bands in there first. So I just want to encourage you guys to show up online, whether it's in a blog, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Show what you know about what you know about. <laughs> like being a stylist and the products and the things that you, that you use. And then also, like if I had a client ask me how to do this, let's just say, I would say, oh, here, let me send you a link to my YouTube channel where I created a look on how to do that. And then they share it with their friends and th then they're promoting your work kind of naturally just by saying, oh, like here's an example, my client Mallory, um, I showed her how to do a, a top knot and then I sent her a video. Um, I shared a video with her on how to do it and then she shared the video with her friend and now her friend knows how to do the top knot and maybe her friend will come see me to get her hair done. So that's how online works. Okay, I'm just spreading this out. See this side? See, it's kind of fun, right? So uh, to recap, as I'm finishing up here, I want you guys to show up online. I want to encourage you to show up online, show what you know. Be aware when you're inspired by your clients or by, I don't know, conversations with your family, or your friends. Maybe when your friends ask you something about how to do something with their hair. Okay, I like to spread this out a little, make it a little bigger. Like I said, I've done this ponytail several times on a video, but never with the blonde in there. I just. I just love Gwen Stefani, so I thought, why not? Actually, it doesn't look anything like her ponytail, but her pony, pony was all blonde and the ends were dark. I thought it looked so cool. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to fix this part a little bit when I get off camera so I can cover those tracks. You guys know, if you have fake hair in your hair, you want to make sure that they're covered up, whether it's extensions like permanent ones or clip-in ones. And then I'm just going to tease the front of my hair. I love this. I love this comb. I sell this comb to all my clients. Most of my clients have like two or three of them. They'll have one in their upstairs bathroom, in their downstairs bathroom, in their workout bag, at their work. Tease, 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 tease. 
I always like it to tease it till it stands up. I'm a huge fan of this big, sexy volumizing dry shampoo. So I'm, I sprayed a bunch of that on my hair before I started the video. And my hair is clean. I had to wash it today. It was really dirty. So it's always easier to do this kind of style on your hair um, when it's a little dirty. And just gently comb over the top part. See, I might be able to cover some of this. Then I'll secure this with a bobby pin here. So tell me in the comments, who's your style icon? One, two, what kind of videos do you create right now online to show your clients how amazing you are and your expertise? Or what kind of videos do you want to create? Um, do you guys show up online to promote your business? And um, three, tell me um, what, you, what your biggest takeaway from this video is. Is it how to do the style? Is it, um, I should start selling clip and extensions to my clients? Is it, I love Gwen Stefani too? Is it, I'm gonna do that style on my hair? That's what I love about this comb too. Again, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm not in a mirror. I'll take like the end of it, and just like pull it up a little if I need to. Like if I need to loosen it a little bit here. So that's pretty much it. I hope you use fellow stylist enjoyed my hair how-to video. What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna try this on your own? Do you like it? <laughs> Comment below if you want to learn more about how to strategically market your business and I'll reach out to you directly. This video, um, if I were to share it on my page uh, where my clients follow me, uh, is an easy way to basically strategically market the things, the products that I sell. Like I've been talking about this whole video, this whole training. So if you guys have been inspired and you want to learn a little bit more about how to strategically market your business to create more of an impact and more income, comment below and just say, I want to learn more. And I'll reach out to you directly and send you a DM. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great night.